We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Milwaukee Brewers and the Cincinnati Reds. In now is Lorenzo Kane, and we are set for baseball here this evening. And here's a ball hit in the air. And a diving effort, but it's out of his reach, a foul ball. Swing and a flare hit toward right. And that'll get down for a base hit. So here in the first inning, the leadoff man's aboard to kick things off. At the plate, Brock Holt popped up. Galvis is there. One out. So a runner at first with one man gone. And that'll bring up Christian Yelich. The count now at two and two. Kane, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there, two away. So a runner at first with two away. And in at the plate steps Keston Gura. The 2 1. No, that's outside. Here's a look over to first and the runner back. The 3 1. And he goes and chops this one out towards second. Throw on to Votto will take care of him at first and the side is retired. At the plate, Nicholas Castellanos. It'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Now the 2 1. High fly ball out to deep right field. Yelich going back to the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. In now for the Reds, Philip Irvin. Philip Irvin. And now pitch on the way. Sinker misses there and now he's in trouble three and one. There's Joey Votto as he gets ready in the on deck circle. Now well, he squares up the slider that time and it's into left center for a base hit. At the plate now, Joey Votto. Grounded back up the middle. Scooped up. There's one. The relay on to first. The double play, and the side is retired. Boy, oh boy. New inning set to get underway. Next for Milwaukee, Omar Narvaez. And he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. Here it comes on one and one. That's lifted the other way out to left. Castellanos has him played perfectly as he puts it away for round number one. So one away here with the bases empty. And that'll bring up Avi Sayul Garcia. No score here as we play inning number two. Hit hard on the ground a second. And that gets through for a one out base hit. That is seven. The third baseman, number seven, Eric. Into the box, Sogard. Eric Sogard. Swung on and blasted foul to the right. And wow, that got all the way out to the Riverfront Club. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Back up the middle. And that's through for a hit. The throw to third. And he'll make it to third, and there are runners at the corners with only one out. Batting it. The first baseman, number 12. Justin. In now, Justin Smoke. Smoke. Okay. And this is in a bit tight, maybe above the letters as well. So it's a full count now, three and two. 
Count remains full. Runners are at first and third, one away. And he looks at one that misses, and that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a walk. Standing in now with runners in scoring position, Brett Anderson. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. One and two to the Brewers pitcher. Hey, that's a great job by the pitcher right there, stealing a the strike with that get-me-over breaking ball. And now he can get a little nastier with it in the dirt. And this is swung on and missed. Oh, a huge punch out there as the bases remain loaded with two away now. From the stretch, the one-two. Liner toward right center. That gets down, and the inning will continue. One run scores. And a relay to the plate. Throw won't get him. Now batting. Football. Stepping in now, Brock Holt. Fastball just missed above the zone. Looking at his career totals, Holt hits a little over the 270 mark. Brewer shortstop ahead with a 3 and 1 count. It's clear he just hasn't been able to find any rhythm out there. Pretty much unable to hit any of his spots. And now he's at 3 and 1, and he's put him into another great hitting count. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. And the runner will score from second. And he's in safely to third as they also score a pair of runs on the play. Now back, right here. To the plate now, Christian Yelich. Yeah. Two and two now. Yeah. Yanked high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Eugenio Suarez. He's one day removed from a six-RBI effort in the game yesterday afternoon. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Keen has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first out. Into the box now, Mike Mustakis in his career against Brent Anderson. He's two for four. Open stance by Mustakis, and now the pitch. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. And this one will bounce into the wall. And he is in at second base with a one-out double. That is good. Not good job. Ready. Ready. Galvin. So now to the plate, Freddie Galvis. Boy, look at that thing dart. It's full now, three and two. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. Hira backs up and takes care of it. Two away. Set to get his evening at the plate started. Aristides Aquino. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year. Looking to get things turned around in a hurry. Took a good cut that time, but comes up empty. Two and two. Easy take there on the sinker well off the outside. Some pitchers fall into the trap of giving in on three and two because they don't want to walk the guy. But with the base open, it's not the end of the world. And the throw is in time to get him to retire the side. And that'll bring up Keston Hura. 0 for 1 here in the early going. The one two hot shot to third and handled for the first out striding in Omar Narvaez he flew out in his last at bat three two pitch he pulls this one into right Irvin is there two down 
So here's Abisayu Garcia. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. Two out, nobody on. Takes this the other way to right. And he dives to make a spectacular catch. What a play there to end the inning. Ready now for Cincinnati. Kirk Casale. Day off for him yesterday, but back out there for this one. The 1-1. One -one. This is on the ground over to first. Reined in. And he'll step on first himself for the out. So here's the Reds pitcher, Tyler Molly. One out, nobody on. A bouncer up the middle. And that is through into center field for a one out single. The left fielder, number two. Standing in now, Nicholas Castellanos. And he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. In now, Philip Irvin. He singled his last time up. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. Ground ball to second. This could be two. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And the throw will be too late as he can't recover in time. Bases full now following the error. And set to go is the veteran first baseman, Joey Votto. The 2-1. Bouncer to the left side, fielded by Sogard. The second for one. On to smoke in time for an inning-ending double play. Digging in now for the Brewers, Eric Sogard. He reached on a single in his first try. And a curveball's by him that time as he falls behind now one and two. Well, it's been a rough one so far. Four runs through three innings. It's about time to get that pitch count down or he won't be out here very long. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. At the plate, Justin Smoke. He scored after reaching on a walk in his first at-bat. A 1-1. Four runs, five hits. One error thus far in the game for Milwaukee. To two balls and two strikes now. And that is swung on and missed. He's down on strikes. And the first two are retired here to begin inning number four. The pitcher. So here now is the pitcher, Brett Anderson. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. And he'll pull this one down a step or two in front of the warning track, and the inning is over. So here's the cleanup hitter, Eugenio Suarez. He's set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. A 1 1. Misses, ball two. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but it's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up this part of the lineup. Tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. Heading out towards shallow right. And that's in there. Base hit. The batter, number nine, second baseman. At the plate, Mike Moustakis. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Hey, after the double in his first at-bat, looks like he's trying to pitch around this guy a little bit. Sinker, and that's ruled strike two. Oh, a double play ball to second. Four, six, three, and they turn the double play. 
So base is empty now after the double play. And coming forward now is the shortstop, Freddie Galvis. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hit out towards second. And safe, says the first base umpire, as the throw was too late. The batter, number 44. Into the box, Aristides Aquino. On the ground to the left side. On to second for the force out, and the side is retired. And in to hit next is Lorenzo Cain. Two base hits, both singles to this point. The 3 2 pitch. Hit on the ground to third. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Here's Brock Holt now. He's working on a one for two game so far. Now the one and one pitch is taken for oh. ball two. Hits are even right now at five aside. Swing and a miss two and two now. That's just too much velocity upstairs to get good wood on it. It's going to have to lower his sights. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. Not a time to fool around right now on a three two count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. And he'll put this one away in foul territory for the second out. And here's Christian Yelich now. No hits to this point. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself in a good hitter's count. The 3-1. Three, three. three balls, two strikes, the down is full. Line drive base hit. Jose De Leon takes over here with a runner at first and two gone the in the inning. Captain Mira. At the plate now, Keston Hiura to right field and deep. Look at this thing go. And that one is gone on a two-strike count with two away in the inning. Into the box now, Omar Narvaez. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. And that misses off the plate and low, so it's three and one now. Avisail Garcia would be next. Comes with the fastball, but it's outside for ball four. So here is Avisail Garcia, a hit in two tries so far. Swung on and missed that strike two. That misses and we're even at two and two. Six runs, seven hits. One error thus far in the game for Milwaukee. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one and the inning is over. Leading off the inning, Kurt Casale. And they'll need him to get something going here. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. Drilled right back up the middle. And this will find its way into center field for a leadoff single. Now back, the pitcher, Jose. In now, Jose De Leon. Bunt attempt is popped into foul ground. Get the 
and he's bunting with two strikes, but can't connect, so a real wasted at bat there. Back to the top of the order now, and the right handed hitting Nicholas Castellanos will bat next. Runners on first with one down. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Right side hit hard. And that's through for a base hit. Make him one for two in this one. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. To the plate now, Philip Irvin. And whoa, awfully close, but it's ball four according to Woody Keller. Now that. In is Joey Votto now. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. A swing and he pops him up on the infield. And the infield fly rule will be in effect here. Two gone in the Cincinnati fifth. And into the batter's box next, a guy who's developed into one of the big-time power hitters in the league, a Eugenio Suarez. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind 1 and 2. Hits are even at seven apiece. Still one and two as he fouls it away. He's ready. Now the pitch. And he comes back to get him. So a great job pitching out of it with the bases loaded. So striding forward now, Eric Sogard. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Swing and a ball sliced foul into the seats down the left field line. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. The batter. Stepping up now, Justin Smoke. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Two and one. Bases are empty, one man out. And it's two balls and two strikes now. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. And another foul ball. Another full count pitch home. And he looks at one that misses, and that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a wall. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Anderson. Brett Anderson. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Ready with the 1-1. One and one. Bunt attempt is popped into foul ground. Oh, and they pull the string on a good change up there as he swings and misses, and he's set down on strikes for the second now time tonight. The center fielder. Now back Lorenzo. to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Lorenzo Cain. He's two for three and looking for more here. And oh. the pitch misses low and away for ball two. Inside for a ball as he falls behind to him here, three and one. Fastball too high, ball four. Stepping in, Brock Holt. His last at bat didn't go his way as he popped out in foul territory. Yeah, Matt, he's got to make an adjustment right here. His swing definitely broke down, dropped his back shoulder, and thus the result was a terrible pop up foul. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. And now Gracious just getting the ball back into the infield is becoming a problem. Now the right field. Standing in now, Christian Yelich. No. And he misses low here, so the count goes to three and one. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. 
Oh, and it misses ball four, and that will force home a run. Now that is. Now at the plate, Keston Hiura. And he's coming off a two-run homer his last time around. Looking to leave him loaded. Hit in the air down the right field line. And foul. And this is swung on and missed. Might have even been a foul tip that's held on to. But either way, the side is retired. So striding in, Mike Mustakis. He'll get things started here in the second half of the sixth. Here is a ground ball now for the shortstop to the right of second. Oh, and he can't come up with it. Digging in to try it again, Freddie Galvis. He's one for two in this one. The 3-1. And he will take ball four. First and second now with nobody out. Now batter. Stepping into the box, Aristides Aquino. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Hard ground ball to third. And there's one away. Stepping into the box, Kirk Casale. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Here's a pitch swung on and missed one and two now. The Reds have been searching for that big hit all game long. Let's hope they can get it. They're starting to run out of time. It's about time for something to happen. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. J.P. Fireisen, a six-foot-two-inch right-hander, jogs in to take over on the mound. Nick Senzel will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 15, Nick. Two out here and a runner at second. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. That's in there, and it'll run the count to full three and two. You know he wants to end this inning right here on three and two, but I don't think we'll see him lay one in on the next pitch there with a, a swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. You're Wade Miley enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. All set for the start of the inning. Ready for another shot now. Omar Narvaez. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. The 2-1. That's up. Well, this is the matchup they wanted bringing in the reliever, but falling behind 2-0 doesn't exactly help the situation very much. Oh, definitely a fastball swing there, but a good time for the changeup. It's full 3-2. and two. Full count still. And a good take there as they'll have a leadoff man aboard to start the seventh. It's ball four. Ready once again, Avisail Garcia. He's working on a one for three thus far. The three one. And he lays off there, ball four. So back to back walks have him in business here with nobody out. Number seven. Here's Eric Sogard. Sogard. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. All even now, two and two. Hey, you guys know me. Hitting's a process of elimination, and I'm eliminating the change up this next pitch. I'm on everything else. Here now, the two two. Line drive to left. That's in there. Base hit. Throw comes in quickly here, and that'll prevent the runner at third from testing things here. Now batting the first baseman, 
Justin. At the plate, Smoke. Justin Smoke. Oh. Off speed pitch, and this one runs in and nearly Two. gets him here. This is line to left. And that's in there. Base hit. One run is scored. And he is in there. Robert Stevenson comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. So now to the plate, J.P. Fireisen. Right on the inside, black with a slider. Laid off but called to strike. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Striding in once again, Lorenzo Cain. It was a walk in his last trip. The 1-1 is laid off for ball two. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. And, oh, he definitely broke the plane there as he went after the pitch inside, and it's strike two. Out in front of that one may have been looking fastball. Good job just to make contact. A two-and-two two count. Here's the pitch. Line toward the gap in left center, and that'll get down out there. Hack on another here as the runner scores from second. The the Into the box, Brock Holt popped him up. Suarez has a play. He's got it, and there are two down now. Stepping up to the play, Christian Yelich. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Three runs already home here. Just a bit low. Tough call, but it's two, two and two. two Number three hole hitter up right now. Cleanup guy on deck. Two ball, two strike count. I think pitcher wants to make something happen right here. Outside and a full count, three and two. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. And the second run will score as well. Now that second base. Into the box now. Yeah. Keston Hiura. Well, ball and two strikes now. Just hung in there on that one. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. High and deep down the left field line. And no one will get this one. The one two is looked at for ball number two. Two two. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. As he arrives at second without a play, as also on the play, a run comes across to score. Now batting. Omar Narvaez. Stepping in now, Omar Narvaez. Called strike, and he's behind one and two. That front door slider is a devastating pitch. By the time you realize it's in the zone, it's too late, and you can't even put a good swing on it. Two out here and a runner at second. And strike three there as they'll finally work out of the inning as the side is retired. Nick Castellanos now. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. One ball and two strikes to count.
No, and that's a ball. Two Too and low. two. And he lays off a pitch off the plate and high. Three and two. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first down. Digging in now, Philip Rubin. It was a walk in his last trip. The 1-1 home. Swing and a liner. Foul. The one two high in the air out to center field Kane is under it he's got it and there are two down now stepping in and ready for another shot Joey Votto he was retired after popping out in his last at bat yeah I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air but he can't collapse the backside and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over him on the screws to shortstop but caught to retire the side. Ready to begin the eighth. Into the box now. Avisail Garcia. He's working on a one for three thus far. Now here's a check swing, and they appeal down to first. No swing. So that's ball four. Now in the box, Eric Sogard. It's been a two for four effort for him so far in the ball game. Sogard. And this is on the ground to short. Could be two. Over to Votto, and they're able to get them both. Now at the plate, Justin Smoke. He singled earlier, making him one for two to this point. The 1-1 one -one home. Drive! 2012, one-two to count. That's a great take right there. Great pitch recognition to let that one go. Opposite handed, that's coming across the plate. You might think you got a shot to stay inside that one. Count full, three balls and two strikes. And he takes ball four again. And they clearly just don't want any part of him in this one. So now the Brewers pitcher, J.P. Fireisen. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Here's a liner caught down there at third. Unlucky that time, and that ball will end the inning. of inning number eight set to go so now the Reds cleanup hitter Eugenio Suarez he's got a hit in three at bats to this point MVP, MVP. and opposite field as he lines this down the line in right and now it'll kick around in the corner the batter second baseman at the plate now, Mike Mustakis. Strike two called, and it's even at two. So a full count now. He pulls this one into right. And a fair ball as this one gets to the wall. The runner from second crosses the plate. Standing in now, Freddie Galvis. Fastball called strike. One and two. Fastball called strike three and there's the first out of the inning. 
Ready for another chance. Aristides Aquino. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. The one two. Runner at first here, one man out. Ball two. Oh, that's good ball. That was a nasty sweeping slider right there. If he was able to just catch the back door a little bit, he would have picked up that backwards K. Skied into very shallow right. Yelich is under it. Two down. Settling in now, Kurt Casale. He was a ground out victim last time up. The 2-1. You know, I kind of see why his ERA is so high coming into this one. He's just putting these guys in too many good hitters counts. That'll catch up with you real quick. Swing and a liner. Foul. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Holds off on the slider, and that's a good idea as it's ball four. Jesse Winker will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 33. Two men are on with two men out. Line drive to center field. That's in there. Base hit. And the runner will score from second. Now the relay home. And the tag gets him. But one run does come in to score on the play before the inning comes to an end. Rysel Iglesias enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. In now, Lorenzo Kane Skied in the air to straightaway left. Castellanos is over toward the line a bit as he takes it for the first out. Now at the plate, Brock Holt is looking for his third hit of the ball game here. The 2-2. Hits the top of the zone. He struck him out looking. Striding into the box, Christian Yelich. Two hits in four attempts to this point. Now the one and one pitch. This one skied out toward right. Irvin is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Nicholas Castellanos He's working on a one for three thus far. One and one. Here it comes. Fly ball right down the line and left. Garcia has a read on it and he hauls it down in the corner at the plate Philip Irvin he's got a hit in three at bats to this point looked like the fastball got away from him there it's ball two. Swing and a miss, strike two. Hey, I'd like to see a little bit more discipline than that. You get a count in your favor, and he's swinging a pitch that bad? Not good. He's set. Here's the 2 2. A swing and a miss. He offered it a ball way outside the strike zone for out number two. The batter. The Standing in, Joey Votto. Joey. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Line toward right center. Into a slide, and he makes a spectacular play to end the game. Well, just an excellent job right here closing this one out. He just collected the first save of his career. Got to start somewhere. 13 to 3, the final score. Milwaukee took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Brett Anderson gets the win on the mound, his first of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.
time of the ball game. Three hours and 59 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely.